thought that was quite a nice introduction, even if I say so myself. A little improvisation there to start off this evening's Wednesday piano hour. Welcome to this next and our on-stream session. This is Christopher Dagen coming to you from my home in KwaZulu-Natal in Music Revival's online live streams. This is our session number 160 on Wednesday the 6th of October. And I'm very much hoping that you can stay with us for the next hour if you're just joining us or if you have just stumbled across us or on Facebook or if you're joining us for the first time on YouTube or one of our various other platforms which we're on. The program will last approximately an hour. And this evening in Piano Hour, our more informal Piano selection of music from a multitude of genres and styles is going to be something a little bit extravagant, a little bit moody, I think, this evening. Uh, I'm always trying to explore different selections of music in this particular program, Play P Piano Play. I'm always trying to look to see what different possibilities I can bring you in terms of the styles of the music and some new ideas and some fresh and different ideas. And this evening's program certainly has a very moody effect. There's a lot of atmosphere. It's another grey day. The sun came out sparkling blue skies for a little while this morning and then disappeared behind a barrage of clouds once again in grey. And so the mood seems to be one of grey moodiness, but certainly I'm sure it's going to be entertaining and I'm going to end off with some real sparkle and fireworks to bring the program into a whole new um, a realm of excitement to end off with, taking some real chances. So as usual, if you are able to support me, these programs are going out free of charge. If you're able to support by buying a ticket or a general financial donation, whether it's a one-off or monthly, please do visit my website, musicrevival.co.za, where you'll find numerous links um, to various platforms as well as banking details, and you can snap scan and Q codes for Quicket and various other platforms as well, as well as the pay fast monthly subscription option, which is always there. I'm grateful for every support that comes through that helps me earning, keep earning a living during these lockdown restrictions. And that enables me to bring you these live streams to a general worldwide online community free of charge. Now this evening's program, I'm going to start off with two pieces of music from the South American selection. I'm going to start off with something that's going to be quite familiar, something that I often play in these Wednesday's programs, and that is the music of Ernesto Nazareth, the South American Brazilian tango composer. And this piece of music, Esta Chumbado, I think is the correct pronunciation, and even the translation or the exact meaning of it seemed to be a bit of a mystery reading up about this, but apparently it refers to the um, uh, atmosphere or the, at the start of the music is referring to someone who is stumbling or even more particularly someone who is drunk. A sort of belligerent repeated element you'll see. <laughs> usual little off note and a little element, musical element that is repeated again and again and again throughout the piece. So just like someone who is not, in, who is not quite um, making sense always, in, inebriated and someone stumbling around, that is the start of the music. It's something that's going to come in this tango. And straight after that I move on to a very adventurous and a very, very moody and a very brooding mood uh, by Astor Piazzolla, I think one of his most beautiful and evocative compositions, the Milonga del Edgel, the Milonga of the Angel, the Milonga being a slow dance, Argentinian tango dance. And this is from a sweet, this is not so much dance music, but his real tango nuevo style. This is music that's elevated from dance hall music to concert music that combines elements of jazz, of real concert style writing. It's a very evocative piece with quite a bit of drama as well, but a wonderful composition, very contrasted to the Ernesto Nazareth, but starting two pieces, Ernesto Nazareth and Astro Piazzolla on this evening's Play Piano Play, exploring a multitude of piano styles and textures.
Isn't that just beautiful music? Miraculous music there from Astor Piazzolla. It's Milonga del Angel from Sweet, the Angel Sweet. And um, really, as I said, that's the real essence, I think, of Piazzolla's music. We have often been playing the dance tangos, the music that he wrote for the dance halls to be danced to. But that really is an example of his Nuevo Tango style, the music that is elevated from the dance halls to the concert halls, as he would have played with his ensembles, quintet, him playing the bandoneon. That, of course, my own arrangement of that music. I'm going to go on with two compositions by the composer Jan Tiersen. Now, I've played Tiersen's music quite regularly, um, examples from the music from the French films Amélie that he wrote, that was used for that film at least, as well as from Usher, a series of pieces designed or composed around the, Alp, the island where he lives off the coast of France, Brittany. And I'd like to play two pieces which are a little bit daring, uh, a little bit unusual, they're um, something quite unique, I think, from a new album, actually. This is music composed in 2021. This is, in fact, this year from an album called Kerber, again inspired by the island and the place where he lives. And you can hear this music on YouTube where he plays the beautiful, very simple piano, piano music, simple sounds, but the actual composition, the complete composition, is including a number of electronic effects. He, um, he's worked with a number of musicians, including the producer, famous producer um, Gareth Jones, I think his name is, who is well known for his work with the early 80s pop band Depeche Mode. And uh, they created together this really interesting sound of these beautiful piano writing, which I'm going to play for you, but combined with electronic effects. So these are two pieces from the Kerber album, composed this year. This is very fresh music, first time I'm playing it, and I'm sure for many of you it's the first time you'll hear it, by Jan Tiersen. I've also got to adapt, switch over to a different score system here. Um, and in fact, I don't think my microphone's still on. So many people have asked me about the iPad, and because there's so many pages and the music in this particular format moves at quite a pace. I'm actually using a foot pedal. It's a little Bluetooth foot pedal which is on the floor next to my uh, piano pedals and it enables me to turn the pages without having to do this with my finger incessantly because I'm only having one page per at a time. I can't do my usual two page system. It does pose its own problem. As I said, I've very seldom used this foot pedal because having to play with both feet and then move your feet around to find the right button to push is rather problematic. But I'm going to give it a go for this particular selection.
It's certainly something rather unusual and a little bit fresh there. Two pieces from Jan Tiersen's 2021 album this year uh, called Kerber. Let me know what you think. Certainly music there influenced you by that uh, atmosphere, I think, of 80s electronic pop music. Um, but a very interesting sound, really, I think, such a unique, fresh sound and incredible ideas that Jan Tiersen always comes up with. So I'm going to change then from a completely contemporary music. I thought, well, let me play something rather a little bit historic and going back a bit just to mix things up. And I'd like to play for you two sonatas by Domenico Scarlatti. I can't tell you exactly the year that these were composed in, but com Scarlatti composed, as I always say, about 500 of these short sonatas. And he was born in 1685. Uh, so the sonatas that I've chosen are really very contrast to the first one in A major, which has this very beautiful lyric uh, openness. I mean, it's wonderfully uh, modern, actually, in its own way. It has this beautiful fluidity as well, but a very um, beautiful sound throughout with interesting ideas, very slow and very sparse. And then the second piece uh, in B-flat has some real in, um, interesting twists, rhythmic twists, I think you might say influenced by the flamenco, Spanish flamenco style that of the folk music of the day that um, Scarlatti would have heard and tried to incorporate in his music having lived in Spain for a number of years. Very interesting um, rhythmic bounce you'll see as a little snap of castanets and the strumming of strings. So these are Scarlatti sonatas originally for harpsichord in A major and in B flat. Thank you. 
two very short and uh, charming little Scarlatti sonatas for you. Contrasted the sonatas in A major and B flat, bringing a contrast to that very contemporary sound of um, Jan Tiersen that we had just before that. Now, talking about interesting sounds and interesting um, textures and possibilities, I'd just like to mention to uh, many of you who have been watching our streams, I know for many years, or a year and a half, many years, a year and a half, and also been coming to my concerts, and you know that my partner Barry is the author of The Living Deserts of Southern Africa, which he re wrote and revised as a, re um, a new edition of a very famous book he first wrote 27 years ago, and it is in fact being launched tomorrow night. So if you would like to know more about that, there on the screen you'll see um, Barry, which was just bringing up the two copies, the two images of the book. The first, that one is of the new revised edition, and the other image, which you saw there, was of the previous edition published 27 years ago. So if you think to yourself, well, wait a minute, I've got that book at home on my shelf. Well, that is Barry, who's running the controls again this evening. Thank you, Barry. And Barry will be doing a Zoom session um, with Duncan McFadden of the Oppenheimer Foundation, who are the sponsors of the book. The book is published by Penguin Strake, and it is being launched tomorrow night at 6.30 on Zoom. And if you'd like to know more details about that, please visit Barry's website, barrylovegrove.com, or you can go to Strake Nature page on Facebook. Um, but if you go to the website, you'll find all the details and find the links to register and be part of that Zoom meeting if you would like to. And if you can't attend the meeting, that will also be uploaded on YouTube at a short time. Uh, if you, yes, of course. Now, uh, there is a discount available. If you are uh, part of the Zoom meeting or you sign up, even if you sign up for the Zoom meeting, you're eligible for, I think, a 20% discount on the book, which is available. The discount is available um, until the 10th of October. And of course, the book will be available. It is in all major bookshops around the country and online. And if you're watching from overseas, I know that it does take three months in England and America. It will only be there in the middle of December. But it's a very exciting publication. Congratulations, Barry, again, on the launch of that amazing achievement. What a wonderful book. Certainly the first edition has been. And certainly I've seen Im images and read uh, the second, much of the second edition and be told about much of it too personally, firsthand, and I'm sure many of you will be interested in purchasing that. It's the kind of go-to guide if you're ever visiting the deserts, the Nama, Kalahari and Karoo, etc. of Southern Africa. I am going to move on to two pieces of music. First of all, a composition by Ludovico Arnaudi, so back to this very contemporary sound. I think this is a 1999 um, composition of his called Nefeli, which is a Greek word translating as clouds. And really a very charming, very beautiful composition. I know his music again has this unique character of simplicity, but there are just so many subtle changes. It seems so basic. It seems so pure and simple in itself, almost too simple sometimes, people might say. But in fact, there are so many little changes in the music that I think the music does have great charm. And seeing as this is a program of contemporary sounds and contemporary music, of moods, I'm going to create an original improvisation. I haven't done that on one of these Wednesday streams for quite some time. So I'm going to let's see where the mood takes me after that and I'm going to create something original for this evening's stream before I end the program with music by Moskovsky and Liszt. So this is Nefeli by Ludovica Arnaudi and followed by an improvisation of my own.
improvisation of my own in this evening's program. It seems that we're having a streaming issue here and there. Maybe popping in and out of the stream, it seems to be suitable and then unsuitable. We haven't had issues like that for a while, but you never know what is causing it these days. It could be any fault anywhere along the line. So this is being recorded. If there is an in, uh, unstable or a bit of a bumpy stream, then we will I will upload the recorded version or well, the recorded part of this onto YouTube at a later point either this evening or tomorrow. So I'm going to end off this evening's program with something which is going to really contrast everything that I've played. I played some very moody, atmospheric, quite brooding music tonight and I'm going to end off with two pieces of music which are rather difficult for me but uh, which set a little bit of a spark alight. And the first piece, of course, is in fact translating as Sparks It in Cell by the Polish composer Moritz Moskowski, who wrote a number of um, quite substantial classical piano pieces, but is really most well known for these very brilliant light finger twisting pieces. I say finger twisting, there's actually a great sense of brilliance and comfort about the way that it's written. It really fits so well at the keyboard. And straight after that, I then thought, well, going from Sparks, we really got to set the piano ablaze to end this evening's program off. So I'm going to really take one of the real barnstormers, one of the most difficult pieces of piano music ever written, La Campanella by Franz Liszt. In this piece of music, Liszt was inspired by the virtuoso antics of the 19th century violinist Nicolai Paganini. Paganini was so brilliant and created such a stir in his concerts in front of his audiences with cultivating a rather wayward appearance and also with the um, credible um, playing, ex such exciting playing and feats of virtuosity that people thought that he had sold his soul to the devil himself in exchange for his musical talent and violinistic ability. And of course Liszt, very inspired by the set to create the same idea of this incredible difficulty, this wow factor at the piano that really would overwhelm an audience and stun an audience, a very new idea for the time. And he borrows Paganini's violin melody from the second violin concerto from the last movement and uh, translates it into a piano piece where he has this melody repeated again and again and again in the top half of the keyboard, hence the name La Campanella or the small bells. It's very bell-like sounds. It really brings together a number of uh, most the most challenging feats but I've been working on a few things technically in my own way in the last couple of months just to try to find an easier way around the way I'm approaching the piano and it's this is always a good test for me to see what happens even Wendy Pop's here to hear it yes Wendy Pop you're going to stay in your basket and I'm going to come and chat to you after let me focus on this two pieces and then I'll speak to you so this is Et in Cell or Sparks by Moskowski and La Campanella by Franz Liszt
always, as I say, always a big ask to play such brilliant and energetic music when you're all by yourself in the studio. And the only person that's going to listen to it is little Lucy and little Frida, who's about to run out of the room with shock because of all these terribly hard notes. Come, little Lucy, you're sitting and staring at me. Gosh, you could sense all excitement. Gosh, that was hard work. You what? Oh, you heard some wrong notes, did you? Okay, thanks, Luce. Yes, there were quite a few. I know, yes, Luce. Yes, Lucy. Yes, that's what they taught you in finishing school, to always be honest and never, never, never say too much. Yes, just say the right thing in Switzerland finishing school. Oh, look, there's little Wendy Pops wanting to come up. How are you doing, Luce? Is everything fine? Yes. Are oh, you having a good time? Yes, you're having a little waggy paw because everything is just fantastic. And Luce is just happy. You happy? Yes. Oh, you want to have a lick -see. Let's see what else is going on here. Oh, here comes Wendy Pop. Wendy Pop's excited. Hello, Wendy Pop. You've got a wig wag to tell. Yes, Wendy Pop, Wendy Pop. Oh, yes, it's very, it is exciting. Yes, you enjoyed that. You like, yes, you, are, you like all of Liszt's music. It's very energetic. Yes, you like that. You're very fond of Liszt's music. And, oh, goodness, Frida, what happened? Frida's got a jersey on. But look, Frida, your jersey's falling off. Why have you got a camouflage jersey, Freed? Oh, so that you can, you can be camouflaged. A leopard skin, because senior ladies wear leopard skin. Yes, you're right. You're right, Luce. Yes. I mean, Frida, you're right. Yes, that's very good. You've got your jersey on to keep you warm, and it's falling off. That's very unfortunate. Well, thanks, girls, for joining us. Pleased you all seem very excited about the music. Thank you to Barry for the technical support of the controls. Just a reminder, if you'd like to know more about Barry's book, The Living Deserts of Southern Africa, you'll find all the information at his website, barrylovegrove.com. And on Saturday evening, I'll be playing a music, I'm a little bit out of breath, playing a program of music by Maurice Ravel, which somehow combines all the elements of list and difficulty of technique as well as the wonderful ravishing sounds of Ravel's music and next Wednesday of course another Wednesday piano hour program so we look forward to seeing you then please look after yourselves stay well thank you for joining us tonight um, hope you've enjoyed the images of the orchids and the rather unusual exploratory range of music as I always say in these piano play piano play selections. I'm always trying to mix things up and trying to bring you some new sounds and trying to bring some new ideas, some fresh ideas to the Wednesday stream. So look after yourselves and we'll see you next time at our sessions.